Hello friends! This is Susanna Johnson with uh, Premier Designs Jewelry. My personal website is SusannaSparkles.com. Today I'm here to show you the ways to wear the cashmere necklace, necklace. Now I know some of you have this necklace and you bought it because you love, love, love the versatility, but you have commented, some of you have, that you don't remember all the fun ways that I showed you when you attended one of my style shows. So um, I'm going to be showing you the different ways to wear this amazing cashmere necklace. If you have not seen it, are you ready to see it? It is pretty stinking amazing. I can't show you, can't wait to show you this. Um, so what I do is I show the ways to wear it and um, basically get going to just talk through how you receive the piece of jewelry and the different things that you would then do to change up your look so that you're not getting one necklace to wear with one shirt in your closet. You have a bunch of options for ways to wear this fun, fun piece. So here it is, cashmere necklace. Stephanie is helping to model this. So literally all of these pieces you get, all the necklace pieces you get with the cashmere necklace when you purchase it. All you do is go to SusannaSparkles.com, type in cashmere, C-A-S-H-M-E-R-E, -E, and this necklace will pop up and this is what you will get. So here it is, uh, up close so that you can see some of the coloring. We've got some browns, blush colored beads, gold stations. There is one gold strand in this necklace with, let's see, get the coloring back where you can see it with kind of like arrow looking stations in it. This piece is removable. This center piece is a stretchy bead necklace with a pendant at the bottom. It has a natural stone in there. I think it's um, some type of a crystal and looks kind of grayish and it does have some texture. Let me turn that so you can see the texture from the side. See that texture on that? And then it reverses to a hammered gold. Okay, so coloring in this blush, cream, browns, gold, and um, a little bit of gray. Let's see if I can pull the gray strand for you. You can see that one. There's a gray strand in there also. So this is just a very, very um, versatile piece that you could add to your jewelry collection that would really uh, provide many different necklace options for you all in one purchase. So let's take a look at this. First of all, I'm going to take off this stretchy necklace. So this is an average length, so I'll show you on my neck. And I, I know I already have a piece, but you'll get the idea. It stretches over your head, and it hangs that low on me. Okay, so I have a pretty thick neck. Um, so it's going to fit everyone's head. I have a big head, thick neck. It'll fit everyone's head. That's a great grab-and-go piece. You uh, have the, the stone at the bottom, and you have the reversible hammered gold option just on that one piece alone. So two wears in that. A, a third wear would be to stretch it around your wrist, wrap it around your wrist three times, and then you have this wonderful, so the blush, clear blush colored beads with the pendant, dangle pendant. That's another option. So there's three wears just in that one strand of your necklace. All right, so great uh, versatility options there. In fact, I'm just gonna leave that because I love it and because I don't wanna lose track of it. All right, the, then you're left with these multi-strand, multi several strands of browns and creams, blush and gray, as well as the gold piece. Let's go ahead and take this necklace off of Stephanie and show you how it comes. So up at the top, you see there is a removable four inch extender. See that chain strand that I'm holding horizontally for you? That's a removable extender. 
We're going to take this lobster claw off of it on one end. Take this little clasp off on this end and there we've removed that extender. That's just going to allow to do some of the versatility options. So if you need that four inch extender, you don't like quite where it's landing on you, uh, on your chest and uh, on your torso, then you can go ahead and use that four inch extender to get a little more length on it. Um, and if you don't want it, you can always take it out. So we're gonna go ahead and clasp this up like this. And then I'm gonna remove the one gold strand. There we go. So let's show the versatility with this. So we showed you the stretchy strand, bracelet, uh, pendant with the stone showing, pendant with reverse to the hammered. That's three wares. How about this? Here's the fourth wear. Just take this gold strand out and wear it as its own necklace. When we take that strand out, we're left with two lobster clasps, one on each end. Great versatility options there. So we're gonna clasp the lobster clasps together. Now we've got this delicate gold chain with the gold stations that look like little arrow parts. Um, so that's a great look. There's That's number four. We can also double this up. I'm gonna show you that with my clip it tool. When you're doubling up a necklace, we have the clip it's, they're just hinge clasp, oval hinge clasps that snap shut nicely. And what you do is you keep your necklace closed. To double it up, you're going to keep that necklace closed. Open your clasp, clasp close to your uh, closure. Reach down to the bottom of the necklace, make a smiley face with your necklace, and then let's get Stephanie back over here. Making a smiley face, you see the smiley face? There we go. And smile when you do it because that's like a Susanna Sparkles must. And then you're gonna reach behind your neck and drop the bottom part of the necklace into the clasp. And now we go, now we created, so this is just a double necklace with the clip it. And just short double delicate strand necklace with those stations as a super cute look. There's number five, five ways to wear it so far. Okay, but we're not done yet. Another thing that we can do is we can take the multi-strand without the gold. We can put the gold in if we want, but just for sake of time, I'm gonna leave it out. We can wear it that way, just as its own piece. There's number six. Okay, I don't know if you guys have heard about crisscross applesauce, but I'm gonna show that to you now. One of my favorite ways to wear a long multi-strand necklace. So just so you know, if you don't, if you have a long multi-strand necklace in your jewelry box and it's not the cashmere necklace, you can still do this trick. So watch carefully and you learn and you're gonna love this. Okay, so we're gonna do a crisscross applesauce. What it does is it makes it look like you're wearing short necklace and long necklace, two different necklaces when it's actually all one multi-strand necklace. To do crisscross applesauce, you're gonna open up your multi-strand necklace. You're gonna choose the portion of that necklace that you want to wear short. So how about let's just go with the cream in this case. I just wanna shorten up the cream part of this necklace. So I'm gonna choose the cream strand and I'm gonna drop that necklace down so it's really, really long, you see that? And I'm gonna take the cream strand and put it behind my neck. The part that you want short, you put behind your neck. That leaves me with the O-ring on this side and the lobster clasp on this side. And we're going to get a good hold on that. You're gonna reach up and applesauce. Whoops, <laughs> we crisscross first, my bad. Crisscross, you see the X? Crisscross applesauce, the necklace. That was bad. I almost totally messed you all up. Okay, so let me repeat that for you just so 
you can see the process again. So what we did is we shortened up the cream strand of that necklace, made it short. Okay, here's crisscross applesauce again. Opened up the necklace, took the strand that we want to be short, put it behind the neck, reached down to the clasp and the O-ring, crisscross them, applesauce them, clasp them in the back, just like a regular necklace, and there you have your double layer necklace. It looks like two different necklaces when it's actually just the one. You see that? We got the cream here, and then we have the browns and the grays long. Creates a uh, layered look, makes it look like two necklaces when it's actually just one. And another thing we can do here, just to show some interest, is take one of our um, magnetic enhancers. This is the mesmerized reversible enhancer. Isn't that gorgeous? Blingy on that side and reversible to a gold uh, with an artistic design, antiquing and etching. And then the fun thing about our magnetic clasps is that they are, you open up and there's a nice strong magnet in there that will clasp onto whatever piece you're trying to hook onto easily. You don't have to slide it on. Back in the olden days, we used to have to always slide. Olden days, don't, don't criticize me for saying that because I lived those too. All right, so there's your magnetic enhancer put onto the short strands. Isn't that great? It changes up the look so much. So what are we on? Seven, eight different ways to wear this necklace, maybe nine. I don't know, I've lost track. Okay, so there's crisscross the applesauce. Let's do uh, another versatility option with this necklace. So we're going to go ahead and close it back up. Long necklace. Now I'm gonna use that clip it again to shorten the necklace into from a long multi-strand necklace to a short multi-strand necklace using the, the clip it tool we'll do that really quickly that is the fedex guy that means i have more jewelry did you hear that knock oh my goodness so exciting more jewelry is at the door but i can't go get it right now because i've got more important things to do i gotta show you how to do this cashmere necklace so we're going to keep the necklace closed clasp um, drop the um, necklace into the clip it close to the clasp and there is an o-ring that's big enough here I'm actually gonna put it right in there because that will even hold it in place better I don't know about you guys but when you double when I double a necklace I do not want that thing choking me to death in a couple hours so this is the clip it is a wonderful option it helps hold it in place for you so we're gonna clip on one side close to the clasp make a smiley face you see that smile smile you can do it um, you can even layer your smiley face big grin here and just a nice little smile here <laughs> um, and then we're gonna drop the bottom part of the necklace into the clip it behind the neck and clip it shut so now we made a multi-strand short necklace out of that multi-strand long portion Okay, you know what we can do here? We can throw on that magnetic enhancer. And you don't have to do this one if you like the other ones. You can choose something besides mesmerized. If you go to SusannaSparkles.com and just click on enhancers filter, that will um, give you some options for different ones. I recommend this one just because I feel like it goes really well um, and I love the effect. So there we added that enhancer one more thing for a versatility option on the cashmere necklace so what we did to double it was we hooked the clip it in the close to the clasp and made a smiley face and dropped the bottom part of the necklace into the clip it behind behind the neck now one more option before you drop that bottom part of the necklace into the clip it. Let's do a little twisty. So we're just gonna, I'm just gonna twist in opposite directions with 
the necklace. You see how I'm creating a bit of a rope look? I'm just twisting, I'm just keep, keeping my finger in the bottom because that's the part I want to drop into my clip it tool. So let's do one more twist. And then we created a rope like look. I'm going to show you that up close. Oh my goodness, too gorgeous. Now we're going to drop the bottom part of the necklace into the clip it tool behind the neck. Right. And there you have a rope like look. So I think we might be on number eight look right there, maybe nine. Let's do another enhancer option. Just magnetic enhancer right on there. And we changed it up yet again. I don't know how long this video has gotten. I like to keep them short, but I also want to make sure to cover all the bases for you on the ways to wear this cashmere necklace. All right, so we're going to take off the enhancer. I'm going to reel it all the way back out to how the necklace comes from straight from the box, cashmere necklace. Multi-strand necklace, we already took this gold strand off. Lobster clasped together, we're gonna unclasp those from each other and get it clasped back into the necklace. Whoops, gotta get the right angle here. On that O-ring there, O-ring on the other side. Okay, we're getting all the pieces back together because I know that's some, one of the things that intimidates you all <laughs> from actually trying these different ways to wear. It's really not that complicated, but it can be overwhelming um, when you don't know what to do. Um, so we're gonna take that gold strand, it's back in there. I've lobster clasped it together. One lobster clasp right there onto the O-ring. The other lobster clasp right there onto the O-ring. And then I already took out that four inch extender, so I'm gonna add that back in. Unclasp the whole necklace. Put the uh, four inch extender in onto the o-ring side let's see here I might need to stop hugging Stephanie to do this right we'll see or is it a chokehold <laughs> is it a hug or is it a chokehold <laughs> uh, good thing I entertain myself huh <laughs> I hope I'm entertaining you all Susanna Sparkles. She's a crazy lady, but she's funny to watch. Okay, so there's the big long multi-strand necklace. We added in that four inch extender. You can adjust the length of this necklace anywhere onto that four inch extender. I'm gonna put it around the neck, wear it long. Then we're gonna take this center piece back off of my arm. I tripled it up and wore it as a stretch bracelet. We're gonna undo that and put it back on Stephanie so that you can see the way it comes straight out of the box. And I did pull that up a little bit because it goes down into Stephanie's Yonderland if I don't. So you get the idea of how it will look on your own neck. So there is the cashmere necklace back to straight out of the box. So my goodness, nine, 10, 10 ways to wear it. That's a great buy and it's great fun. It's a great necklace to have in your closet. This will be fabulous for the fall season. Ways to wear the cashmere necklace. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking with me. I hope that you will like this video and uh, subscribe to my channel. I'll be showing you some other ways to wear super fun Premier Designs jewelry.